All right, serious question for you, serious. Would you let your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, or your wife sleep with someone else? I'm talking about what most people call cheating. Okay, just hear me out here. Recently, I was reading a Huffington Post write-up by actress Stacey Nelkin arguing that cheating on a spouse doesn't need to be a deal-breaker and that it can actually be good for the relationship. Write-up uh, psychologist Wendy Walsh's alley, whose mind I'm reading right now, going, oh, <laughs> hell no. And then the office oh. Peace Senegati is nodding, yes, yes, yes. So ladies first, <laughs> Wendy, let us have it, go. I want, I want to say one thing about every blog that you read that says cheating's worked and it was great for the relationship. It's always in past tense. The relationship is over. It ended for a reason. Uh, no, cheating is all about lying, deceit, betrayal, bringing a potential STD into your relationship, maybe a stalker woman out there. Um, it is not a good thing. Okay, I have a woman floor director <laughs> here on the set and she is nodding her head yes. So Steve, <laughs> you write about these issue, issues in your new book. It's called Code of Honor. Is there a difference, right. though, between cheating in a marriage and, and cheating on your boyfriend or your girlfriend, or is it all, do you think it's fair game for all these relationships? No, it's all the same. You know, the problem is like, that human beings invented the term cheating. Cheating doesn't occur in nature. A deer can't cheat on a bear. A rabbit can't cheat on another rabbit. Yes! And the irony here. Yes! The irony, yes! right? The, but, Don, you ready for this? The irony is that I bet a guy invented cheating so that his woman would never leave him and then men have been the worst over history at cheating the point of the matter is stay single <laughs> don't get married you won't have to cheat don't lie to anybody but Wendy oh, doesn't Lord. he have a point because oh, it, these Lord. are conventional terms I mean if you uh, in nature as he said it doesn't happen okay. and we expect yeah, monogamy and all nature. that Done, done, done. We are not deers, okay? And here's what you should know. Yeah, we cheating are. Cheating is very different yes, bio we biologically are. for men as it is for women. And let me explain why. Men can have sex without falling in love. So, Steve, you go have all that sex without falling in love that you want. That's just fine. But plenty of women have this pesky hormone called oxytocin Wh that makes Wendy, them bond through Wendy, sex. You're, so, therefore, you're out of touch. there's more chance... There, there's more chance that women, when men cheat, they're looking for sex. When women cheat, they're more often looking for a new relationship. So if your girlfriend cheats on you, Steve, it's not because she just wants a romp. It's because she wants something better. All right? Oh, That's what happens no. with, between Don, men and women. Don, she, Wendy, oh, Steve. When, she's, she, Wendy, you're out of touch. You're not in the dating front lines anymore. Women are dating like men. A matter of fact, if you look at the statistics, it's almost exactly equal the amount of women that are cheating as is as are men and matter of fact sometimes believe it or not I hope you're sitting down for this women just like to have sex you are as sexually uh interested i was going to say horny but i wouldn't say that on television as we and, are you're just as bad so of course we're horny, That's Steve. Listen, the truth is, though, that Randy <laughs> sex, if women, that. Are, if women are behaving, if women are adopting a male model of sexuality, it's actually hurting them. And when my book comes out very soon, The 30-Day Love Detox, you'll understand why the high-supply sexual economy is hurting women. Mm -hmm. It's hurting relationships. It's hurting families. And more than anything, it's, it's uh, denying the freedom for many women to become it's, mothers because their fertility okay. window is shutting before they can get there. That's it. Boom. We're done. Boom. <laughs> I see what Wendy has to say, but I have to say, I, you know, Steve. You're a dude. Oh, Don, you're a dude. Someone came up with that.